that the actions taken by the General Legal Council constrict the parameters for legal education instead of expanding them. And it has many very negative you know, ramifications on everything. Legal education particularly is one of those you know, uh, professions which after the person goes through, he may not come and ask anybody for employment. You know, a lawyer can be a lawyer by himself, even running out of his bedroom. So it, it happens to be one of those things which have a way of solving many problems that we are dealing with in this country right now. And there can never be an overproduction of lawyers. We need lawyers in every place, in every aspect of society. So I don't know why we would make you know, uh, choices that effectively constrict legal education. What is also important is that when the matter went to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court ordered, the Supreme Court gave orders, gave instructions to the General Legal Council to effectively act in a way to stop what they are doing, which was declared unconstitutional. And I don't know by what interpretation the General Legal Council concludes that having been ordered to stop what they are doing and to take steps to expand legal education, they are going to spend their energies rather to take steps to constrict legal education. I don't think that is what was intended in the Supreme Court order given to the General Legal Council.